Hey guys, it's Aiden here, and welcome back to Sky Factory Episode 4, and today, as you can see, we are standing behind the trees, which you know that means we made some progress since the last video, and also, there is no Andrew, so uh, he may come later in the video, but he may not, I don't know, he, he said he was gonna come on, but uh, who knows. But anyways, guys, again, welcome back to Sky Factory Episode 4, this is the most awesome series in the entire existence of YouTube and today it's only gonna get better because today I have planned to start a Tinker's Construct smeltery and as you can kind of peek and see over there we have our Minicio farm well on its way to making us some flying armor but real quick before we get into this episode I want to say thank you guys so much for your support you guys seem to really love this series as much as I love it and with the support I'm getting I will keep it going Leave a like and a comment telling me what I should do, what I shouldn't do the next episode, and without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alright, so before I do this, I want you guys to know I have spent maybe the last six hours doing this, because it's taken me a long time to get the materials. But as I come around this corner, you can see our crazy, crazy goddamn system we have over there and our new and improved... Um, sieving system over here as you can see we also upgraded with the uh lava in the back there we have upgraded to lava generators so there is no more need for coal to keep our base going and as you can see with these chests we have the diamond hammers and iron hammers automatically feeding into these uh these autonomous activators so we'll be getting these uh up and going you can see over here we've uh put some more furnaces down just to smelt some stuff I have added a couple more drives, as you can see, because I ran out of room in the first two. And as you can see, as we look into the crafting terminal, we have a ton of everything. And if we run over here real quick, you can see we have a chest system set up so I can go AFK and sleep and come back with all these chests filled. If you look into here, yeah, you can see we, we have quite a lot. We already have a full chest, and I just moved this stuff over before recording, so uh, this, this is going to get fun. But let me start over here. As you can see, I almost just died. But we uh, had an incident with a lava bucket when we were making obsidian, so that wasn't fun. But as you can see here, we have our water tank filled uh, just, just obviously with just normal water. And we have a sprinkler system keeping our potatoes growing. And it's automatically fed, so this will keep going forever. And as you can see over here, we have our full Minicio and Magical Crops farm. We have the Growth Pulsar right here, which is just made, if I can look this up, Growth. As you can see, it's just easy. Minicio blocks with stone and one diamond. We have tons of diamonds from the uh, from the sieve back there. Basically makes everything grow much faster, which is something very good for what I have planned for this episode. But starting at what everyone's really here most for, you can see I used to, I still have the remnants of our lava gen right here, but it definitely was not going to be enough to keep all of these things going. As you can see, we are making so much gravel that it cannot hold that. Wow. But as you can see, I did destroy this uh, lava system right here, lava making system here, in favor for a much better one, as you can see over there. And I might as well just get into uh, explaining this whole system because it is quite the doozy. Starting from the back, obviously, we have a normal cobblestone gen right here, which feeds into this better barrel which is then fed into all of these crucibles. All these crucibles will fill up and automatically be burned down by the torches you can see. And then I have these transfer nodes, which are for liquids, taking all the liquids th that they gather here, putting them into these uh, fluid ducts. And then all of these fluid ducts are all leading into this tank of lava right here. And you can see we are pretty full, so I need to make more tanks, but this is just how much I had on me. The lava in these tanks then flows individually through the, uh, the fluid ducts into the each of the like stations um, lava generators and you can see we have full power full lava and all of the autonomous activators are fully powered so we never ever have to worry about power again at some point I'm gonna clean this up maybe move it below us and use like an elevator block to uh, like get up and down but for now it is a beautiful system of non-stop power for us which is always needed and just a little bit here because I, I happen to use it for one of the builds um, as you can see, I have a ton, a ton of magical crop stuff. But these uh, pulverizers are going to be very important because we're going to need to start getting into um, Tinkerer's Construct, which I'm going to need these pulverizers. So basically, the only things that haven't changed is our mob spawner over here. And even then, it kind of changed a little bit. i uh, run over here real quick. As you can see, our farm is completely full. These double chests here have a ton of stuff in them, and the XP is completely filled with 16 thousand on them i added a bunch more chests in case we need to move some stuff around um as you can see we have a ton of shit in here started kind of try to sort things out but there is a ton of everything like you see we have tons of bone mill. we'll never need bone and bone mill again tons of arrows 
and tons of loot uh, bags here, but I do not have the will to open all of them. Real quick though, I want to make, if you look on screen here, a wireless terminal, which we are going to need a dense energy cell, an ME terminal, and a wireless receiver. So while we're building things, and if we ever need like materials, we don't have to go from that place and run all the way back and go re go all the way back again. Because with these wireless access terminals here, we can just open up our ME system from obviously like a wireless location. So to start, we need a flux pro, which is just pure flux. Let me do this in the crafting table real quick. We just need that, and if we shift click, we can have that really easily. And just like that, we have our wireless receiver, which we need for the terminal here. I think I have these cores actually, so we should be good there. I just need a logic processor. And there we go, we have the correct amount of stuff for our printed logic circuit. Chucking that in the furnace, and then we need to work on the rest of this. We need a dark illuminated or bright panel. And obviously, because we have tons of material, we have everything we need for that as well. I don't know actually how many we have, so I don't know if we have enough energy cells. No, we don't. And just like that, along with our processor, which is in the furnace, we should be able to get our dense energy cell. There we go. Now, what else do we need? We need the ME terminal, which... I should have everything for that. There we go, we have that. Now, using this, we should be able to use this to make our wireless access terminal. Where the fuck is my access terminal? Where did my fucking thing go? And we should be good to go. There we go, we have our uh, wireless terminal, which took way too long, I do not want to admit that. Now, I have to figure out how we link this. And after way too long of trying to get the, uh, okay, well, I, I should probably explain this. Now that we have the security terminal, which if you guys don't know is just this, you need the 16 storage component with the chest and you get the security terminal. And now if we take our terminal right here, our wireless access terminal, put it here. It is now linked and now we just need to charge it. All right. Now. For the wireless access terminal we put this in the charger like so and now it is if you see up here it says stored energy it is currently charging thank god all right now that we have the wireless access terminal charging i'm going to start building the platform in which we are going to hold our uh, tinkerer's construct crucible and that is what i'm going to use as our platform just right behind our stuff over here now if i remember right we are going to need a tink all right, so we're gonna need a bunch of seared brick, which you obviously get from grout, which I need to remember how to make fucking Christ. We're gonna need a lot of sand, a lot of clay, and uh, a lot of gravel, okay. So there, we have now, we have all of the grout that I just made, all going through these furnaces, smelting down into, you can see, seared brick, so that should be enough um, for, I think for what we're doing, it should be enough, I'm not sure. First thing we need is a smeltery controller, which is just seared brick, just like a furnace. And then we'll need a drain, which is easy like that. And then just the bricks are four. So we should have plenty for this, actually. We're going to need the seared tank, which is seared brick all around glass, which we obviously have plenty of that. The casting channel, which is easy to make, so that should be good. And then we're going to start needing to make patterns eventually, so that should be interesting. Which is just sticks and planks, so that should be easy too. All right, we can start this off. So let's take this and put it around here for our controller. Two lines here for the drain. That, we have that. So this should be all we need right here to get started with this. Oh, except for the drain, we need that. For the drain, you just do it like a boat shape like that. And there you go, we got the casting drain here, the channel. Okay, now let's start building this some bitch. If I remember right, we just need to make an outline. Oops, not like that. Look like that with the controller there. And I think we need the basin here and then we're gonna put the thingy where it is there it is the drain we're gonna put right oh no we don't want to up there we go that as you can see right here it, the controller is working so now we should be able to put copper in here and now connecting my lava to there we go see now we have the copper which is like it looks very slow but it's slowly melting all the copper and let me grab like a plank here so if we look in, it's currently, I, I would jump in, but I will die. Yeah, you can use copper. So putting the copper around, it should melt and it should fill up this smeltery's little thing here. And then we just drain it into this casting basin and it should make the whole block of it. All right, finishing up and it should fill up this if I'm not mistaken. 
Yep, there we go. So now we just have we have 18 ingots of molten copper. And then we just right click here. Okay, now we should put that there. We should be able to put this here. And if we and now that I got derped away and had to look it up because I was stupid. Now we should just right click it and there we go. We have our molten aluminum brass because I added a uh, copper and aluminum brass or aluminum because we are going to need that for something later. And then right clicking it, we get, I had to make sure it works, that's why I have two. Uh, I, had, I have the blank cast, which we are going to need to be able to make uh, Tinkler's Construct Tools, which you can see here. You can get like ax heads and then that's how you make certain types of materials or uh, axes. So now if we use it with our iron, as you can see right here, just using the iron ore gravel, uh, which is filling up that entire block there, we can now make our iron smelting go way fucking faster and we need that. And then after we can just pour into a block and then if we need uh, ingots, we can just use a crafting bench and just make them into ingots. So it's really efficient this way. But I mean, that's really it for um, Tinkerer's Construct. That's basically how you do that. And you can see here, make a, a Tinkerer's Construct smeltery for processing ore, which we just did that. And see now next episode, when I get into more of the Tinkerer's Construct, we can actually upgrade the tool, the metal part and make the matic. And then we are basically done with the entire first half of this book. I just have a little mini upgrade I want to do to that though real quick. Grab my hopper and a chest. And if you guys should understand what I'm doing here. Now, if I am correct, let me see here. Once this is done, this should automatically fill up with our stuff. There we go, see? Now we have the iron ore dust. Now all we have to do is just put it in this chest and we will have our iron all smelt without having to do any of it. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, and that's going to do it for Tinkerer's Construct. That's all finished. So now we can hop into the what was left of what I'm going to do with the farming. Also, our wireless terminal should be mostly charged. Yep, 50% charged. We'll take that. And so now if I'm standing over here, say I'm chop, 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 chopping some trees down, I need to put stuff away. I can right click the access terminal. <laughs> of course, I can. I, that is short. What the hell? Oh, that explains it. I do not have my uh, wireless doohickey thingy on, so I need to go grab that from this thing. Okay, with the wireless access point right there, and we need to put in one card, or we, I think we, we can afford to put in two cards. Now we are chopping some trees, chop, 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 and we need to put stuff away or grab an ax. We can right click. So now let's just say we're over here doing our thing, and we need to do stuff. We need to grab iron, you know, for an ax. We right click. And there we go, we can access our wireless terminal right here, which has all of our stuff. We can put stuff away from here. So now it's pretty cool. My plan for magical crops, we're gonna need all of my Savicio stuff. What I want to do for this is actually grab, where are my diamonds at here? Grab the diamonds. I wanna start making some overpowered gear because I think that would be cool. So taking our Cusio stuff. We should be able to put this in here. Oh wait, we need to make the chest plate. My bad. There we go. So now we have our Cusio chest plate, which this is the first piece towards us flying, which is going to take a long time. And there are these things called unstable ingots. This this thing right here. This unstable ingot for you guys that don't know, don't play Minecraft, never have seen this series before, is crazy. It's, it's, it seems simple really an iron and a diamond and a division sig, uh, sigil, but to get this sigil, we're going to have to, should I say, <laughs> find an animal or mob or player, <laughs> Andrew, and we have to perform a sacrifice to get the sigil. And if you read this text here from the unstable ingot, you'll see just how crazy this is. Divide by diamond, this ingot is highly unstable and will explode, killing you after 10 seconds. Will also explode if the crafting window is closed or the ingot is thrown on the ground. Additionally, these ingots do not stack. Do not craft unless ready. So using these unstable ingots, and as you can see here, using these unstable ingots, you have to craft your extreme infusion stone, which can make you use your, all your Savicio stuff, which can make you fly and etc. But you have to craft everything you see here, including this nether star, which we have to get from killing the wither. And we have to get glowstone essence. We have to make our strongest fusion stone, which is the next step to what we have now. Obsidian essence and these unstable ingots, which you have to craft in 10 seconds or you are screwed. So you have to make them and craft 
this entire thing in under 10 seconds or you explode and die and you lose all your progress. So that should be a little hint of just how crazy all this magical crop stuff is and why it's so dangerous. But as you can see, if I put it on, I have my badass demon skin and now we can start worrying about enchanting it. And I should quickly say, as it is the 4th of July, happy 4th of July to all you beautiful folks out there that watch this series and this stupid ass channel as we grow. Um, at 50 subscribers, I haven't even done a thank you video for that yet. I don't know if I'm going to or not. But anyways, i just like to say thank you because that number was completely unimaginable to me like as a kid. I remember growing up thinking, man, I want 10 subscribers, 20 subscribers. We're all the way up to 50 already, so that's freaking awesome. Thank you guys very much again, and happy 4th of July. So the last thing I'm going to do for this video right now is upgrade. Just so you guys can see, we, now we have our Acusio. Now we mix it with the uh, Crucio uh, stuff, which is a lot of EOs. And you get your Crucio chest plate here, which is just a better upgraded version than the uh, Acusio. So then we just put it on, and there we go. Now we have even more protection. So this armor is basically going to make us like invulnerable to everything. We cannot die once we have this gear on, which is crazy. So I'm actually going to leave this episode here. It is about time I finish this episode up. We made a lot of we made a lot of progress today, and we've started a lot of good stuff. We got our uh, smelter up, and we got our Cusio and our now Crucio gear. Off camera, I think I'm just going to farm out a whole bunch of that essence, and so we can make the full gear. So you got to do that on camera. And as well as I'm going to make some of those seared bricks to make this smelter much bigger, because right now it's very small and very useless. But anyways, dudes, I appreciate your support over the last, what is it, uh, three episodes. This is going to be the fourth. The three episodes I've been doing this series, I've absolutely loved the series. As you can see, I put in too much time into this. My social skills are dying very slowly because of this series, and I'm loving every minute of it. It's too bad Andrew's not here, or else you guys would be seeing him in, the, in this episode. But as I'm getting text from him right now that he is maybe going to come over, you guys will see him in episode number five. The plans for episode number five is going to be, again, to finish up the gear. And we are going to try to take on the Iron Seed and Diamond Seed and maybe start infusing our armor. Because right now, if you see our chest plates and stuff only have damage reduction and like and stuff like that, we only have damage reduction, so they're not able to be flying yet or anything like that. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next episode of Sky Factory. And as always, I love you a long time. Goodbye.